I'm back. Day two. I've added uh, two more snatch blocks. So, one to the truck. So that gives me two more lines to pull. So, I guess if I'm doing the math right, it's maybe not the one going out, or maybe it's all five. Either four times 4,500 or five times that is supposed to be the pulling power. So we'll see what happens. I put a like a tree post, round wood over there by the front of the Connex. I had the wood stacked up with the idea that I would have leverage over it to pull kind of up and over and it would just topple. Um, now I'm just going to try and straight pull and see if it'll slide. I have a couple little blocks sitting in front of the door there on that edge that'll See if I can point to them right there. That'll hopefully topple over if that thing moves at all. I'll be able to tell. I'll have a short run though before my gray rope gets back to the truck. So I'll have to re rig if I get that far. We'll see. I went ahead and put the side by side hood up here for a little added protection. I'll put a helmet on again and we'll see what happens. truck again, pushing the wood, got the trailer behind it loaded with stuff, and the excavator tied behind that, so I thought I had enough lead in my butt basically to pull this, but they're not looking like it. Yeah, I'm to the end, so I got to re-rig. Day two, this is uh, Second, second attempt on day two, and uh, not doing real well here. I had to re-rig, I thought I would. Uh, here, I had my gray line going through that snatch block around the other side, but it had about that much slack in it, and took up that slack pretty quick. And so I had to put it on this side. And uh, so reposition the truck and everything. But it was, truck's got blocks under it, I don't know how, you can, how well you can see it, but it was pulling the truck. The truck's got a loaded trailer behind it, and uh, the excavator's anchored behind it. So I have the second uh, snatch block in the system here, and we're gonna give her another try. Let's see what we get. I mean, I got a lot of rope movement, but uh, I didn't get any movement at the Connex boxes. We're dragging everything else again, so let's see what we get here. the wood into the ground 
dragging everything. Should have enough weight now, but I guess I don't. Kind of bummed. Almost looks like it moved the connex a little bit, but maybe not. Let's get a uh, backhoe, I guess, to position that. It's worth a try. I needed to drag it this way as far as that pink flag there to get it up here as far as I want before I go across. So I got my railroad ties and I'll prep that area, but I still have to figure out a way to move it. give up on this or rethink it or something. I thought I had enough uh, enough weight at this point with everything anchored behind it. Guess not. Try again another day. I lived again. Didn't die doing stupid stuff. <laughs> Just trying to be cheap, make do with what I got. Oh well. Got some friends that suggested some pipes underneath, but it's sitting on boards going that way, which I could put pipes then, except I need the pipes on just the ends on the board. So I thought if I could drag it this way, line it up with my railroad ties that will be going that way, I could put the pipes on the ends on the railroad ties, and then it would, I could pull it across that direction. But uh, it's not working out so far. Well, have a good day, everyone. Okay, well, did move it a little bit. Up those little blocks in the front, my indicator ones were looked like they were tipping over from there. I only moved it a couple inches. Basically, this flag was the marker at the end, so it's gone forward a little bit. You can see where it's kind of widen this out, where it's rolling these boards over, which is what I intended it to do, and lift up and roll over. So it definitely came forward a little bit. So maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll try again a little bit and see what uh, see what we get. I hate admitting failure, and defeat. So try a little more.
I saw that was lifting the front of this somehow. Wasn't really sure how. So what it did was caught that board and just rolled itself up out of there so it was lifting the front while it was doing that. May continue to roll or it may just stop and slide but the flag was the starting point so got it a couple feet. Got about three more feet to go. Let's see if I can do it. Probably have to re-rig again. Uh, keep at it. Hopefully nothing breaks. of the direction of pull with the main pull going towards my truck that up a little. it's pulling this out away from the wall I mean ultimately I need it over this way but I need to have enough room to work to put my railroad ties before I slide it over so that's why I put the bigger boards underneath since it was rolling on these other ones it was gaining elevation so I took advantage and stuck those under there. Hopefully it'll hold it up high enough because I gotta dig this down anyway and then get my railroad ties all squared away and that slid over, but I'm still not up to the flag. Got about another foot to go. Just wanted to take a walk and look because I could tell it was just rolling this board. You could hear it. And I had put tension strap across the back here down low on one of my trees but I know the angle eventually will get into this other tree as I pull forward we'll capture that one there um, don't know if it'll have much pressure on it shouldn't be too bad at that point so then I came over here and it stuck a board over here so if this did pivot enough the only thing it would do would be to hopefully smash this board against the lower part of the wall where it's going to be the strongest and not pivot all the way and hit the blocks and cause damage so i got one more foot to go but i don't know if you can tell on the back out a little bit here in this video how much angle that is Try and brighten that up a little that tapers down quite a bit there this back end will have to go over quite a bit. I mean, both front and back do, but I was really wanting the thing to stay parallel to the wall and give me as much room as possible to work over here to prep. That ain't happening. So, I mean, I guess I'm thankful that it's moving. And uh, hopefully I'll get another foot forward movement and uh, call it a day at that point let you know what happens success the look of joy right <laughs> well I mean it, it worked. I got it moved forward made it all the way up to the flag back it out here 
but uh, as I was pulling because the main pulling force is where these snatch blocks are most of the lines are going to the truck it was pulling on an angle instead of to the side by side but I needed that for an anchor so it pulled it away from the wall quite a bit here which leaves me less room to work with over there I'm gonna have to put my prep everything and do some shoveling underneath and get my ties laid out out there um, kind of dug under it a little bit so that'll be a little inconvenience but it moved I got it up here so that tells me I can I should be able to pull it you know across a little that way then grab that in and pull a little bit and kind of walk it across onto my railroad ties hopefully and uh, like Richard Sly suggested uh, some pipe roll it on some pipe this thing was catching these and just rolling them along but going that way I couldn't really couldn't put it on any pipe <laughs> just rolling them um, but with the ties going this way I'll be able to put a piece of pipe on the ties hopefully if I can if I can jack it up and put it on there and it'll help roll it across and I'll just walk it across end to end I'll set up uh, set up the winch in the truck over in that space and run it to this corner and then when I do that one I'll set up over by the building over there and pull across that way I'll just have to rig and re-rig and keep on moving things till I get it in position so the fun hasn't really started I guess other than the fun of figuring out if I had enough winch strength to on a 4,500 pound winch to pull an 8,000 pound Connex so I don't know didn't uh, didn't rip the bumper off didn't tear the front of my frame out and tear the winch off its mount got her a little warm not super hot but uh, a little warm but uh, yeah this was my anchor system inverted drop hitch tree strap <laughs> this thing has a parking brake so I had it in park with some blocks of wood this was in neutral foot on the brakes blocks of concrete under it this was in neutral parking brake set blocks of wood heavy load on the trailer and then the excavator I had uh, that blade dug in scoop dug in to give myself enough uh, resistance against that thing and with all the uh, snatch blocks it multiplied my pulling force enough to uh, make it all work out so pretty happy about that can't complain it was a good day overall didn't break anything and I didn't get hurt didn't damage anything in the yard so we're gonna call that a day hope everybody else had a productive day too or just a fun day or something didn't stress out too hard on anything and, and praying for everybody that's uh, you know asking for prayers that's having health issues or other other things going on in their life so that's all we can do is stay positive and try and keep everybody we know in a positive light and keep them blessed have a great day